Hi guys, Ben Swinfrey Dollars here. I thought I would bring you a quick video on some pushing trophies with the Ginger Ninjas, the Valkyries. Because I'm about to change strategy, I'm about to change my defensive layout. So this will be the last one on the Valks for a little while. So I've just done one attack. Um, here it is now, this is the replay. I hadn't really attacked this particular base before. I chose to come in from this corner here because I was pretty certain that the Valks would go into the central box. I wasn't really prepared for that Tesla to be there, but it really didn't delay this attack a great deal. We've got plenty of troops in there, took that down pretty quickly. You'll see on the right hand side here, I've dumped a load of wizards quickly to try and get rid of some of these other buildings. Make sure the Valks don't get waylaid and distracted, run off to the side, because we need them to jump into this central box and get rid of all of these defensive troops. There's the Rage, there's the Valks going in, there's no more defensive troops, they're all gone already. And as you know, the Valks can hit up to four buildings at once if they stand in the right place. So that central box is being cleared out pretty quickly. If your Valks go round, then you can be in a little bit of trouble. So my King, he's only level 30, he didn't last very long, he's been completely walloped. But the King, the Queen is nicely protected here behind these golems. Unfortunately, this little funnel which our defender Nala here has funneled us through with the big bomb has blown up all the rest of our wizards. So I'm trying to sneak in now from the right hand side hoping this Valkyrie stays alive, sorry the left hand side, and, and trying to hope here for the three star. Doesn't seem like it will be possible now with no wizards to help out. These buildings are going to take a long time to take down just with the Queen. Get a few troops in here, try and help out a little bit, but um, it's look, oh flippers! Lost a wizard to a flipper, lost my giant to a flipper right at the very beginning. Queen's going down, tried to save her ability for just the point when that wizard tower was going to go down. You don't want to have the wizard tower blast all of your baby archers that she produces. Queen's gone down, not looking too promising now. We're on two stars, 80%. Last of our troops, we've got no tank units to protect us. And there is still an air defense, so these poor little minions are not going to be able to get rid of this cannon or this barracks. Wizards managed to help out though, 83%, 2 star. Under other circumstances, perhaps with max royals, or maybe not that sneaky big bomb, it would be possible to get the 3 star. So let's load up these troops again, we'll go in and do an attack live now. Probably the last one using the Valks for a little while. I like to change it up and have a little bit of fun. So not everything is quite ready. Uh, normally I would just sit around, have a little bit of a chat, everything's boosted, wait till uh, my troops are cooked, try and conserve a few gems, but we'll go straight in for this attack now. And then I will show you a defense. Sometimes you guys ask, uh, how does this uh, village defend? Well, I don't defend with this village. Uh, I don't show the village that I actually do defend within the videos. That would, uh, wouldn't really help me out with my trophy pushing. People would either start using it a lot or they would know exactly where my traps were and smash it to pieces, which I don't really want to happen. But since I'm about to change it, we'll do a defense straight after this and we'll see how we get on. Right, that should be everybody about ready and cooked up. Let's go and see what we can find in the clouds. Searching, searching, searching. Hope it doesn't take too long. Oh, yes! <laughs> Come to daddy. Erwin 2 from Belgian Toppers has presented me with this little beauty. Wow, a Town Hall 7. Oh dear, I feel a little bit bad taking these trophies. It's only going to be three. I suppose he can snipe this back in uh, maybe an hour or so. So the plan here is to use as few troops as possible. I think what we will do, it's going to be a golem and a queen in this main box, followed by a few wizards, I think, and a Valkyrie up here to swipe down all of this loot. I'm not going to be awarded much loot for this, but it's certainly worth it. Let's have a look. Oh, my queen is losing a bit of, bit of health here. That's not really to plan. Should get this golem to walk past her. Dragon coming out. Oh, how cute. Okay, we'll have to kill that. Let's get some wizards out on it. Make there it goes. That has gone down. Well, there could be big bombs in here, so we might lose a few of these troops. I'll keep filtering in the wizards. Don't want them in a big crowd and lose them all at once. Try and deploy as few troops as possible. We won't need to use any spells, which is great. Although, since we're, this was planned to be our last attack, we may have to do another one after this because we will have everything ready to go again. Let's have a look. 
Do we need to deploy any more? Can we get away with just what we have sent? I think we're going to get away with this, guys. Valk is doing its job. That's the first star done. Queen. We've had, I had to use her ability already, so we're not going to be able to heal her back to full health. But on boost, it'll only take her maybe uh, two or three minutes to get back and ready to attack again. She's walked the right direction. Gollum is now distracting the rest of these defenses, which are not the best defenses in the world. But kudos to Erwin. He's been sniping like mad to get himself up here. I'm not sure how many trophies he has. I would suspect to, to give me this off around about 3,800, 3,900 perhaps. And uh, that's a very nice little find for me. Three trophies, three stars. And I'm more than happy to attack as many of these as Supercell presents me with. There we go. Get ready for the three stars. Well done, Queen. You've done the job. Let's see how many troops we actually had to use to take that for three star. A Golem, Queen, one Valk, and nine Wizards. Plus our lovely loot bonus. Okay. So that is not something you find every day, guys. And when you do, you can be very happy. But uh, sometimes you can find those with really decent offers. There are some people with about 3,400 trophies that have uh, villages that look a little bit like that. So here are my recent defenses, guys. This has been... I've not been winning any, as it happens, but I've not been losing too many either. I'm quite happy to take minus one or minus three. That is a result. So let's have a look at the defense which I just did. And this is the base I've been defending with. The base that you guys have not seen yet, that I've never had displayed in any of the videos. This is the one I try to defend with. It's probably a bit overused now. You can see where I've put my air sweeper on this one. I think it works quite nicely there. It's keeping these balloons a little bit at bay. And uh, it does push them kind of sideways. It stops them going to where they want to go. Uh, they are being pushed away from this expo and it is gradually causing them problems. They are losing balloons here, but they will finally get their way towards this town hall and clear out many of these buildings. This guy is going to want to come in with his king and his queen afterwards and try and take my town hall. You guys have already seen that he gets one star, but which star is it? Does he get the town hall or does he get the 50%? Well, let's take a look. Here comes his wall breakers. He's going to break in through this section here. Big Bomb takes out his other wall breaker. And first in comes the king. Now that is what usually happens. And this is why I have balloons also in my clan castle. They didn't come out because so far it's been an air attack. And they are going to descend on this king and make his life a misery. So he's had to use the special ability already. And he's used it right next to a big bomb, which seems to happen every time to me. Balloons are following him around. He's not going to be able to do any damage in this central box. So it's going to be left down to the queen. She can take these balloons very easily. She's getting rid of these Larrys. And unfortunately for me, a level 40 queen under her special ability does not take very long at all to get rid of the town hall. There she goes. She's taken it down. But unfortunately for Ginger, he only has a lightning spell left, so he can't get the second star. He's looking around, see if he can find 4% anywhere, but there isn't anything available. In the end, he decides to forlornly go for this builder's hut at the top and collect himself an extra 1%. But that's minus one for me. I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you so much for watching guys, please do like, comment and subscribe. And if you are a Town Hall 8 or a Town Hall 9 and you have a unique attack or you can do any of the attacks in my Perfect Attack series, please do let me know because we're going to be making a new Perfect Attack series for Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. I'll be back a little bit later with Clash Olympics. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys soon. Send everyone!